time when misgivings darken the way and first light I cannot see. I ask my dear Lord to brighten the way. He whispers sweet peace to me. He whispers sweet peace to me. Whispers to me. He whispers sweet peace to me. Sweet peace to me. When I am cast down in spirit and soul, he whispers sweet peace to me. I could not go on without him, I know. The one who would wear my soul For I could not see the right way to go When temptations were me roll I trust him through faith, my faith hold his hand And sometimes my faith is weak And then when I ask him to take command it seems that I hear him speak. He whispers with peace to me. Whispers to me. He whispers with peace. Whispers with peace to me. When I am cast down in spirit and soul, he whispers with peace to me. Trumpets will sound for our lost return is coming for you and me. I praise his dear name for this I know yearn with Jesus to Join our brothers with the choir by singing from in 276. In 276. I was once a sinner, but I came pardon to receive from my Lord. This was freely given, and I found that he always kept his word. In the book is written, Saved by Grace. Oh, the joy that came to my soul. Now I am forgiven, and I know. By the blood I am made old. There's a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. And the white robe angels sing the story. As soon as come home. For there's a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. With my sins forgiven, I'm bound for heaven, never more to roam. We're singing all the three psalms that are sitting down after the introduction. Thank you. 
to sing song before prayers, 251. Sing the last stanza, stand up to be led in prayers. 251. Pass me not, O gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Thou, the spring of all my comfort, more than life to me, whom have I on head beside thee, whom in heaven but thee. Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. And while others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Sing the last time that stand up to let him open prayer. Eternal Heavenly Father, we bless your name, O Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We lift you high above every other God. We say thank you, Lord. You have been so wonderful, Heavenly Father, since in the morning time. We have been feeling you present in our midst, O Lord. You bless us wonderfully in the morning time. And tonight we have come to return an evening sacrifice unto you. Oh, Lord, I we stay in your presence tonight. Do not pass us by. Lord, stop over us and help us, O oh God. As many heavenly fathers will call upon your name tonight, oh, Lord, do not pass us by. Lord, with the precious blood that you shed on our behalf, Lord, save our souls, oh, God. Cleanse us, oh, Lord, from all iniquity, heavenly Father. Give us the power and the grace to go and sin no more. Jesus, do that for us tonight and sanctify our hearts, oh, Lord. Fill us with your power, the Holy Ghost, and heal our disease, oh, Lord. And we know you're going to do it, and we shall be glad to praise your name forever. For we rise in Jesus' name. Amen. Good evening to everybody, and God bless you this evening. I keep on going through, Lord. I see you so we pray. Keep on loving, keep on pushing. 
I said, God bless you this evening. Our announcements are the same as in the morning. That is to say, tomorrow morning, 5.30 to 6 a.m., morning prayer will be, five, um, it will be Monday to Saturday. Prayer retreat in the morning from 6 to 8 a.m., Monday to Friday. Bible study in the evening of Wednesday, titled Holiness in Thought at 6 p.m., and the evening prayer retreat on Friday, 6 to 8 p.m. Bobo, I want to see you ni arin ose ohun ni an fi lo yi eyi ni wipe lati ojo aje titi di ojo eti ni a o ma ni ipade adura oro wuro lati agogo marun abo si agogo mefa ni ojo aje titi di ojo ni ti akoko ni lati ojo aje titi di ojo abameta ni ojo aje titi di ojo eti a o ma ni ipade adura yara eni soto ti o bere lati agogo mefa oro wuro titi di agogo mejo ni ojo ojo ru ni a o ni ipade idani leko ninu bibeli ti akori re nje iwa mimo ninu ero yi o si bere ni agogo mefa ni role ni ojo eti ni a o ni ipade adura iyara eni soto ti role ti o bere ni agogo mefa titi di agogo mejo um Men in Anthony Groups 3 and 4 will have a prayer retreat on Thursday, May 18, 2017, between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. All men are cordially invited. The venue is in the basement. Bobo, I want to point to you, 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 Ashale titi di agogo meji ni oru. Ipade yi yo wa ye ni mongonti yo wa ni isale. Ni ojo bo. Ojo ke jidi ni ogun osu. Osu yi. Bo bo okunri pata pata ni akwe si ibe. The special monthly prayer retreat we hold next Saturday, May 20, at Anthony, for Anthony District and Worker Headquarters. Time is... 6 to 9 a.m. in the tabernacle here. It will also hold at Ibutemeta, Abeson, Okearu, and Fish City districts. Please come along with your family members and invite your colleagues, neighbors, and acquaintances. Ipade Adura, a consheti a man she lo sho shu. Yo, wa ye ni ose ti umbo, ni ojo abameta ti umbo yi. Yo, bere ni agogome fa, titi di agogome son o uro. Ipade yi yo si wa ye ni Antoni ni yi, ati ni ebute meta abeson o ki aro, ati ni ilwi bagbo, bo bo wa ni aro, wipe ki amu a wan ore, ati ebi, ati ojulu mwa wawa, si ipade adura yi, tori olon wwa bo adura wani be. Prayer meetings for the elders and campground residents who hold are scheduled on Monday, Friday and Thursday. Ipade adura fun awon agba ati awon olugbe ogba ni yo waye gege bi ati ma nse ni ojo aje ojo isegun ati ojo bo Next Sunday's the schedule of service is as uh, displayed on the screen before us Gbogbo isin wa fun ojo oluwa ti o nbo oni ati fihan wa ninu tonna ti o wa ni oke okay. And after the song to be given by the preacher, that will be testimony service. Lengi yoniti alufati ondari isi yo funwa amfani yo shisile funeri. The testimony service is open to all those who are saved from their lives of sin, but the testimonies must be short and straight to the point. Isi yari yi owa funbo bua weni ti yoti ri bala kuro ni nwe she wo. Shubon, eje ki aje ki eri wa ki o lota ara, ki o si so un ti o lò nou shefun wa ni pato. Thank you and God bless you. E she un ki o lwa ki o bukun yi. For our testimony service, we are singing in 26. Christ is my portion for heaven. He is my savior from sin. It's my blessed salvation. I have the witness within. I have the witness within. Jesus 
now saves me from sin. In his heart, I have a place. I'm saved by his grace, and I have it. We are singing the first and the second. After that, we, can, we are free to testify. First and second, then we are free to testify. Mi forgive me. He gave me joy. I forge ahead. He sanctified me and he filled me with the power from the above. I thank God. This God is able to keep. There is nothing he cannot do. I thank God that I'm standing here because God has given me another opportunity. I pray the holy name. I thank God when I, uh, a time I had accident. I was in door for about four weeks. By that four weeks, I would take my Sunday school to read. I could not comprehend anything. I will try to learn my Sunday uh, memory fast. I cannot recite it. I was praying to God. God have mercy on me. What can I do without the word of God? I continue to pray. 
I want to thank God for the people of God praying for me. Why not their prayer? I wouldn't have been here. I thank God that God has that prayer. It was after eight weeks. I can read the Sunday school and I can understand. I can read my memory file and I can recite it. I thank God. This God is able. There is nothing he cannot do. There is power in the blood of this son. You know, before, when you call me, I will not even know. I will just say, who is that calling me? There was a time my boss called me and I said, ah, please, I can't, uh, who am I speaking with? Say, ah, it's me. I said, I don't know you. He mentioned, ah, I said, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I started praying. I said, God, have mercy on me. At the time, my brain will just block. I will not uh, know anything. I want to describe. This is the thing. I cannot mention it. I say, God, have mercy on me. The people of God, they were praying for me. I thank God for the power in the blood of Jesus. I thank God for the love in the gospel. All people, they rally around me and they pray for me. I thank God. It is a prayer that is still holding me. That is why I'm here today. And I want to give my life to God. I know he has done a lot for me that cannot start to enumerate. He has done a lot that I cannot even start to mention. This God is my God, and I will stand forever. Through a friend, I pray through to salvation, sanctification, and baptism of the Holy Ghost. I thank God that for the past years, God has been working with me in my department. When we pray, God answers our prayer. Do you know this God is a wonderful God? When the retreat was about to start, we organized prayer and we told God that this time around, we don't just want to cook as outside cooks. We want to cook for Jesus. And we want people to eat our food and be saved. Do you know God answered? He saved so many people. What surprised me was one of the carrier at my 12. I, I went to buy food stuff. People were so surprised. Even one of my mommies had to phone me my 12. That Remy, why don't you send one of your staff to go and buy all these things that she's not happy with me. I told her that I wanted to manage the money because the money was cut into half. And I want it to be used for the uh, retreat. I want to manage. If I go, I will be able to manage for the retreat. Do you know God has a purpose? When I got to my 12 and I was loading, a man came to me and he was loading with me. And as he was loading, I told him, we are having Easter retreat. Will you come? He said, somebody has told him. I say, if you come, God will help you. He now told me. He said, I'm an NCE holder. That's what moved me. That how can an NCE holder be carrying load in my 12? I told him, if you come to apostolic faith and you are saved, that God will provide a job for you. And do you know, to my surprise, he came on Thursday while I was working in the kitchen. When they came to tell me that somebody was looking for me, I couldn't recognize him. He said, Mama Unilola, you are the one that told me in my 12 that I should come. Oh, I embraced him and I encouraged him. First day, he wasn't saved. Second day, I had to call him when he came to me. He said he would not eat for those few days. He said until he's saved, I have to speak to him. I said, what? Have you seen since you came? He said when he came the first day, as he got to the tabernacle entrance, he saw Jesus on the cross. Blood coming out of Jesus. And that it scared him, he wanted to run back. The usher brought him in. Do you know, that Saturday, I encouraged him. I told him, since you've seen Jesus, your problem is solved. To my surprise, that Saturday afternoon, he came to me rejoicing that God has saved him. He started thanking God, not me. And do you know what I told him that God will provide a job? The person I had in mind that I would tell, I did not even tell him anything. He just came to me. He said he heard about a man that came through me to the 
gospel that is going to provide a job for him. Do you know God has provided a job for him? He is in the gospel working for the Lord. Praise be to Thank God for the salvation of my soul and how he has been keeping me and my family. May, name, may his name be highly exalted. He has been helping us in many of these challenges we've been having in life. And he has been keeping us. I've not heard any kind of bad news that my parents had accidents. It's all by his mercy and his glory. May his name be highly exalted in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus loves every little children. And I was a child when Jesus brought me to this glorious gospel at the age of 19, 1974, in the dining hall of Yaba Trade Center behind uh, College of Tech. Jesus saved my soul. He sanctified me, baptized me with the Holy Ghost and fire. And I thank God that God has been working uh, with us saving souls in Benway State. Glory be to God. Um, there is a couple uh, that came with us to the camp meeting and uh, they prayed and got saved. The, the whole community came on them that we, we which church? They told, them, they told them apostolic faith. Ah, you see apostolic faith where they suck blood? You that have only one child, you are taking your child there. Uh, he said, I will go to the camp meeting. And he brought the child to the camp meeting, not knowing that the wife was having an ailment. The, the woman came, the, the husband prayed through to salvation, the wife also prayed through. But uh, along the line, the wife had that ailment and was suffering. Then he said that it was something they put on the door that she didn't know, she just crossed, and that thing just fell on her. And then she prayed one night. She tarried at the altar and said, God, since you have saved my soul, this ailment, I know you are going to take it away. It was in the midnight while she was tarrying there that Lord Jesus came down and removed that spell. He removed that, uh, uh, that uh, medicine. When she got home, her mother, who knew, who knew about it, immediately they were coming back from committing, he said, Something has happened to you. He said, yes, Jesus has removed the sickness. He has saved me. But do you know that this God, there is power in the blood. The same woman and, uh, saw a woman on the road. Our, our vehicle was going. The woman waved and we carried her. As we were going, the place she told me that she would drop, all of a sudden we got to the middle of the road. He was doing like this. I want to get down. I, I didn't hear the language because she was speaking in Igede. Then my, that lady said, this woman says she wants to come down. I said, but she has not reached. Immediately she lighted. I didn't know anything we were going. It was when my wife came to Benue that the woman was telling my wife that that day the woman could not, because she was trying to do something and the body was swelling up. She was just, and she, she went back. Her husband said that was how she used to wicked everybody, but she wants to try the man of God. I'm not the man of God. It was Jesus who wants to try, but Jesus answered her. I am praying the blood of Jesus will not leave me. Please pray with me that that heaven, God will take me.
I thank God that this year, I thank God that God has been faithful to me. This year, God gave us a bouncing baby girl. And around the same time, the devil wanted to take our joy away. I, a couple of years ago, I signed a document for somebody. And some days, just to the birth of my baby, I removed my SIM card from my phone and I used it on my modem to browse and I forgot it there for a couple of days. So when I put it back in my phone, I heard that they had been looking for me. My siblings called me. They said the person I signed a document for, EFCC has been looking for him and all the people that signed the document, EFCC has been, they've picked them up. So I was so worried. At some point, I could not even go home again and I started praying. So I told my dad, you know, and my dad said I should pray to God and ask him to forgive me for being unequally yoked with an unbeliever. You know, and this document was signed years ago. So I started praying and I said, God, please deliver me from this thing. They were looking for me everywhere. Even if I, when I'm going home and I'm driving home, I will be looking. At, sometimes I don't even go home straight. At some point, I could not even go home. But I now made a trip. As I was going on the trip, the devil said, I was hearing voices in my head that they will pick me up at the airport. But I prayed that, God, please let me go and let me come back. And I made the trip. It was successful. And I came back. They did not pick me up. And by the time I found out, I asked that, how about the case? They said it had been resolved. And they had given, the court had given an injunction that they should not disturb anybody again. That was how God delivered me. May his name be praised.
and they came to call the police. We are taking, uh, let's want to read Mark 10, 46 to 52. Mark chapter 10, verse 46. And they came to Jericho, and as they went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded, and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he called thee. And he cast away his garment, rose, and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered, said unto him, what, shall, what will thou that I should do unto thee? And the blind man said unto him, Lord, that I may receive my sight. The two, and Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. Amen. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Afeka in reality, Marku, Urikewa, Lati Esekeni, Dinia, daughter, Titi de Ikeji, Lenia, daughter. Once he was in Jericho, Bio City in Jadekuro, Nigeria, where you are one way in Re, at sea or Puawe in Yon. Batimu, a forju, or Motimu, Joko, let bow no, own shagby. Nibati o bok pe jesu ti nasare ti ni o bere si ki be lo unrara wipe jesu iwo mo da fi di sha nu fun mi opolopo si ba wipe ki o pa enu re mo sugbon ohun si ki be si ju be lo pe iwo mo da fi di sha nu fun mi jesu si dese duro o si pa se pe ki a pe wa won si pe afoju na won wi fun pe tujuka dide o n pe o o si bo ewu re sonu o dide o si to jesu wa jesu si dahun o si wi fun pe kini wo n fe ki emi ki o se fun o afoju na si wi fun pe raboni ki emi ki o le ri ran jesu si wi fun pe Ma lo, igba gbo re mu o la rada. Lo ju kono, o si ri ro, o si to Jesu le yi li ono. This is an account of a man in the Bible was a blind man. It's like it's like a, a close case, a useless case. He has no help. He has no future. He's meant to beg for life, and he was just there. Go in. Itan ti aka yi ohun ni itan ti afoju kan ti o wa ninu bibeli eni ti o je wipe ati ro pin wipe oro re o ti tan ko ni ireti ko ni ohun ko ohun ti o le se lati mu wahala yi kuro be ni o kan sha irin lo sha at this time Jesus was passing that direction be ni Jesus nko ja lo ni wakati yi ni adugo ibi ti o wa and he, i'm sure he must have had the sound or the crowd moving, the movement. Molero, we pay Otim boy, you rest your own, you rest your own in your at your road. Yeah, when you're on something, what's in Cordano? It must have half. What is happening? Oh, that's it, baby. We pay Kinney on your own shelly. Messages us passing by. On our soft and pages, we don't Cordia. And I'm sure before now, it must have had good news about Jesus Christ. Oh, see, that me not you pay Kyoto, dear Siko ye. Ati ma gbo iroyin ayo ni pa ti Jesu that Jesus can heal wi pe Jesu nwo san he can raise from dead pe o nji oku dide he can deliver pe o ngba nila he can save souls ani o ngba okola i'm sure he must have been encouraged o da mi loju pe ayo tin wa ninu okan re that one day we meet that Jesus Christ wi pe ni ojo kan o ohun go ohun o pade Jesu yi same tonight you are going to be here tonight 
Same tonight, you are fortunate to be here tonight. Back on on he war, and he or show you relative one in Lasha Lane. I just is passing this way. Don't be Jesu in Kojani. I'm sure that he will, he will remember you for good today. Amen. Be Jesu City in Kojani, Lasha Lane. Oh, that me lodge you pay your roti. And this man did something. He cried out. Oh, Kuni, oh, Moon Kokoshi. He said, No, Logun, be merciful unto me. Jesu, oh, my daffy, shall you fool me? Jesus, Jesus, that son of David, he was more David. Have mercy on me. Shall you fool me? He said it once. Oh, so like me. Second time. Eh, KG. People came to me and said, Keep quiet. Then I went, you are by with Peco Pine. It's not for you. And you're the tough one. It's not for your your likes. He said, Run away, you're being the low say what? Don't shout again. Pine, Remo. But he did not keep quiet too. Shubago, pay no more. He shouted the more. And he said not to keep busy. Tonight, do I hear tonight? And you are one in that shall let you say. Jesus is passing this way. Jesus, yes. Kojani. For your sake. Nitori. Will you keep quiet? Njo Madakabi. Remain in your sin. Nino Esere. Remain in your problems. Over Duro Nu Shoro Reni. And regret for life. Call the Makaba Motiti Life. But by God said tonight, God will set you free. Amen. Shuboni Pauli of your Lord will not let you. You know, you know yes, you're trusting it. Amen. There's one unique thing about that is that that was the last time that was passing that road. Oh, come on, you know, 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 Lossi, BC, or Tin Lock. By that time, at this time, battle was, was desperate. Near Sikoyi, oh, I repeat, Batty, Batty Mew, Otiwa, Oti Walewu, Owa Kibe was determined, Oti Quinu, to get the blessing. Lati Ribu, Kumba, Lord Alone, and he cried the more, Owa Kibe, see, Jesus, Jesu, that son of David, you are more than fifty, I've been so me, Shamu Fumi. If you do could cry like that tonight, Boba Shay Pay walk up, I will let Kick Baby Lash and let me be serving him. And if you keep me, Tarata, the Savior that can set you free, Kyo Kick Baby, you are correct, you are not with your name, Bala. I show that tonight you go with blessings. Then, oh, that Melody will pay, you will put your neck on you for a lady. You'll be wondering that who is this Jesus? Only my Lord, we pay Tani Jesu. Let's open up to Mark chapter 28, verse 18. And the cash be belly one. Matthew 28. Matthew 28. In reality, Matthew. Verse 18. Ori keji leni, ori keji dini obmo. Ese ori keji dini obmo. This Jesus. Jesus. Who is this Jesus? Anita ni Jesus yi. And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me. Amen. In heaven and in heaven. Amen. Jesus si wa, o si sofun wa, we pay. That just has power over everything in this world. Yes. Jesus, he only go to Agbara. Lori, he only go to Nia. He has to run. He has power to deliver. Yes. Only Agbara let him go. He has power to change to change your heart. Only Agbara let him go. He has power to sustain. Only Agbara let him go. He has power to bless. And only Agbara let him go. He has power to kill. Oh, see, ni agbara lati pa. Ya sa to make a life. Oh, ni agbara lati jinde. In in Philippians chapter two verse nine and ten. Philippians two nine and ten. Ni we Philippi ori keji nine and ten. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in heads and things under the head. Philippi ori keji ese keso nitori na Olorun pelu si ti gbe ga gidigidi o si ti fi oruko kan fun ti o bori gbogbo oruko pe li oruko Jesu ni ki gbogbo ekun ki o ma kunle awon eni ti nbe le orun ati awon eni ti nbe ni ile ati awon eni ti nbe ni isale ile that Jesus will come to me tonight and Jesu yi papa o ni o wa balasa leyi that is the one that can set you free o ni ko lo le tu o sile iya to over everything 
Oh, ni agbara lori ohun gbogbo. What is your trouble? Kini soro re. What is your challenge? Kini wahala re. Because can stop them all. Ani Jesu a yo nju re. At this time, ni ni asiko yi. The father was still crying the more. Ni se ni Bartimeu logun si. Something unique happened. Ohun oto o sele. Jesus stood still. Then ni Jesu duro bi stood still. O duro tonight for your sake. Amen. Over that trouble. Amen. Why your cry? Amen. Confusion. Amen. Your sin. Amen. You will cry out. Amen. God will stand still. Amen. Ni a shale yi mo fe ko yi o wipe bi o ba le ki gbe si Jesu ki o so gbogbo isoro re ki o so gbogbo ipo ruru okan re fun ati gbogbo idamu aye re mo fe ko yi o Jesu yo duro yo si gbo isoro re yo si mu gbogbo re kuro ni oruko Jesu i just said call him for me Jesu si wipe e pe fun mi he came be ni o wa all the guy that could be a trouble to you he cast it away e wu re ti o le je isoro fun o yo ju sonu what are those disturbing you kini awon ohun ti o ndi o is it your your phone ki e je eh agu alagbe ka re ni is it your chat with your friend abi oro ti o n so pelu awon ore re you allow you to come and pray o ni o fe ke o wa sori pepe gbadura what does those trouble your life kini ohun ti o yo lenu is it your friend that is telling you now don't worry later later abi awon ore re ton so mo pe je ka pade ni eyan agbere leyin esin or or the food i want to go and eat abi o nje to fe lo je nile tonight la sha leyi christ is waiting for you jesus duro di o to do something good in your life lati se ohun ribiribi laye re but but must come to him be ni ba ti mi wa and is asking one simple question o si bere lowo re i bere kan pere what without that i should do on today kini ohun ti won fe ki emi ki o se fun o that's an open check eyi je so we do wo ti o je wi pe ohun ko ni o le ko si look the rich men they cannot give that such opportunity yes awon olowo aye yi won o le fun o ni ru afani yi they can't help you won o le se ohun ko fun o but now that is saying what is that problem sugbon jesu wa n bere lowo re la sale yi kini isoro na are you still in sin nje o wa ninu ese bi if you can acknowledge acknowledge tonight bi o ba le so ninu okan re pe o ti je elese a confess to him ki o si ki o si fi enu re je wo a repent ki o si ronu pe wada for sake be ni ki o ko sile oh tonight you are saying victory yes ni asale yi ko ma re ti ise gun god will visit you amen olorun yo be owo and set you free be ni o si so do mi nira and in us if you too and just and just and The blind man, the blind man said unto him, "Lord, that I may receive my sight." Ni ese ese keji le ni o adota. Last after that. Fifty. Fifty one. Fifty one. The blind man said unto him, "Lord, that I may receive my sight." After you now see we fun pe raboni ki emi ki ole ri no. Do you want to receive your sight tonight? nje o fe rinran la sale yi o pa over sin abi o fe agbara lori ese are you challenge you trouble abi isoro fe bori re and there's no solution ti o si si abayori so this is all that tonight ani jesus wa lori pepe la sale yi o fe tun ase you can come and pray to him tonight bo ba le wa padura si you give it tonight ni ale yi is calling you now o pe ani si yi what that do to you kini o fe ki emi ki o se fun o what that do for you kini emi o se fun o god is calling you tonight jesus n pe o la sale yi you come with me here now nja ma wa ba ni si yi the problems as we sing in 245 
our Lord and our God, merciful Father, thank you for your word tonight. Thank you for the invitation to come and receive your blessings. Lord, come down on the altars. We are waiting on you, O oh God. Come and have mercy upon us. Come and save souls. Come and sanctify. Come and fill with the Holy Spirit. Lord, heal sick bodies, solve problems, and make us happy tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.